Thor News presents the North Pole melts and forms a lake at the top of the world. All right, here's a cookie for all my doom junkies. I recommend taking a grain of salt into this melted North Pole lake. All right, it looks like doom on, doom junkies. You craved it. You wanted it, even though I wanted this Saturday to be stress-free. Looks like I get the exact opposite. It appears that images of a frozen lake are now a normal lakey lake. Um, article goes on to say, Santa flooded out. Was he talking about Santa Ana? Santa Maria? Or the pin? Dang, I forgot that. Rage Against the Machine song lyrics. Santa, like, I don't know if you're going to talk about global warming, starting out with Santa Claus. I don't know if that's exactly proper or not. You know, maybe it's the perfect thing to talk about global warming, Santa Claus. Facts are, this lake has melted. I think the entire solar system is heating up and changing. Is it connected to Comet Ison? I don't know. Like I said, when I see an Easter Bunny, I think that Easter Bunny is Comet Ison. So it's hard for me to judge. The only facts we have now is apparently it's hot up the North Pole. I know that here in Texas, it has been raining more in July than I've ever seen. But things are weird. I'm not saying that humanity can't screw up our environment and our ecosystem, but I'm not sure, A, how carbon credits are going to help, and B, how we're going to let private companies figure out what's best for the environment in, in a situation where capitalism unregulated reigns. So, it seems to be a total foobar situation. But if you are looking for doom, I would think the North Pole melting might be mildly doomy. If you want to, you could freely associate it with maybe the poles changing. Magnetic poles, that is. Some type of solar system change. Maybe the sun is a comet or a phoenix and it's just acting all weird and changing. It's growing bigger, brighter, warmer wings. Or maybe it's harp. If you guys get into the harp thingy. Or maybe they've been chemtrailing the world to uh, melt the North Pole. Man, I don't know. Okay, once again, I'm going to try and read from the article. Hopefully I won't be distracted by too many Santa Claus flooded out statements. Try it again. Santa flooded out. Researchers release shocking new images of a lake that has formed at the once frozen North Pole. That does not sound good by any means. If this image doesn't scare you about the effects of global warming, you must have ice water in your veins. Yes, that's the North Pole. It's now a lake. This photo is part of a time lapse recently released by the North Pole Environmental Observatory, a research group funded by the National Science Foundation that has been monitoring the state of Arctic sea ice since 2000. The shallow lake began forming on July 13th after an especially warm month which saw temperatures rise 1 to 3 degrees Celsius over the average, reports the Atlantic. Yeah, this is a Mother Nature network. Who doesn't love Mother Nature? Other than oil companies and total dickheads. Jackass. Cracker butts. The North Pole has not completely melted away. There is still a layer of ice between the lake and the Arctic Ocean underneath. But that layer is thinning, and the newly formed lake is continuing to deepen. It's a dramatic reminder that climate change is real, and that the Arctic is being radically transformed. In fact, the lake, we might as well call it the Lake North Pole, is now an annual occurrence. The pool of meltwater has formed at the North Pole every year now since 2002. The mythical home of Santa Claus has been officially flooded out. Arctic ice has been retreating dramatically in recent years, opening up the fabled Northwest Passage, which can now be successfully navigated in summer months. Wow, that marks a boon for shipping traffic and oil and gas exploration. It's bad news for the environment. See, maybe harp. Animals that rely on sea ice, such as the polar bear, are left with a shrinking habitat. The ice cap is also important for the regulation of global global climate. It influences ocean currents, insulates the air, and acts as a giant reflector for sunlight that hits the earth. As the cap melts, global warming is projected to accelerate. And, and solar warming and solar system change. I guess if you want to look at it as doom off. It's been doing it since 2002. You can. This last decade has been pretty weird, man. Uh, get a minute or not. I mean, I'm not a big fan of when, when they talk about climate change. I think it, you know, changes are going all around. And definitely if someone's going to fix climate change, it's not going to be the government as they take billions from oil companies. Because I don't know if you heard, but I'm stressed out in real life. So I, I was trying to chill out on Saturday. And this is the opposite of chilling out. This is melting. That's not chilling out, man. That's melting. Melting is bad. Anyway, so I guess we'll keep an eye on this. And um, see what continues to go on. I know everybody enjoys the rain in the summer in Texas. Kind of nice. But nobody enjoys it melting at the North Pole. Insert stupid Santa Claus swimsuit jokes here. I'm not a big fan of Santa Claus. He's like, Jesus is more satanic, more capitalist half-brother. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, whatever. See, I'm going off the rails. It's Saturday, actually. I'm not even in a mental state to make a video. Okay, so I'm done. So I'm out of here. Love you. Can I get a hug? So, anyway. Alright, there's your doom. Congrats. Hulk in bad mood. Hulk smash.